Welcome. My name is Daryl Miller, and I'm here with Preeti today. Hi, I'm Preeti Krishna, and I'm glad to be here. Thank you. We're here today to talk about the Microsoft Graph Security API. And Preeti, so tell us, mm -hmm. what is a Microsoft Graph Security API? So Microsoft Graph Security API enables you to get, update, and subscribe to different types of security data coming in from Microsoft security products as well as non-Microsoft security products. So the security API isn't actually for securing applications or securing the graph. It's about finding out security information. Yes. So it is all about security data. It's, not, not, it's nothing to do with implementing security for Microsoft Graph. Excellent. And so does this uh, API, is it applicable really just for partners who are ISVs who are building applications to access this data? Or would this also be useful for enterprise developers to get access to? So it is actually for ISVs, enterprise uh, developers, as well as my, uh, managed service providers as well. So ISVs can definitely leverage the API and build different kinds of security products and solutions uh, that leverage uh, the, the value of the uh, API itself. And uh, MSPs actually, or managed service providers, can have security operation solutions using the API. And uh, enterprise developers are actually, enterprises are using workflows uh, using the Microsoft Graph Security API connector uh, to build different kinds of automated security threat and response solutions and uh, to run in their tenants, as well as um, Power BI dashboards using the Power BI connector as well. So there are options for everybody to so, leverage. The so you API. mentioned workflows and connectors. So I could plug in like Microsoft Flow or Logic Apps connectors mm -hmm. to listen for certain security events? Yes, we are talking about uh, Logic Apps and Flow connectors for Microsoft Graph Security API that can be leveraged with other connectors in the connector ecosystem. That's really cool. Perhaps you could show us a little bit more in depth about how this all goes together. Sure, happy to. Yep, let's look at the Microsoft Graph Security API documentation to get started. So uh, we have, this is basically the Microsoft Graph documentation. You go to learn and you find security out here. This is the overview. And one thing to focus out here is uh, how Microsoft Graph Security API is different from uh, the other uh, graph, graph payloads, Microsoft Graph payloads. So um, any client application sending a request to Microsoft Graph Security API gets federated out to different graph Microsoft Graph Security providers or the security products running in the Azure Active Directory tenant. These could be products like Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection or Azure Security Center or Office uh, 365 Advanced Threat Protection or other non-Microsoft products like Palo Alto Networks. The data is returned back and aggregated at Microsoft Graph Security API, and it's returned back to the client application. Now with this, um, you can also look at the schema um, documentation as well and details out here. Now let's look at a few queries to see what kind of data is returned by the Microsoft Graph Security API. So this is Graph um, Explorer, and these are the security queries which are um, available in, my, uh, in Graph Explorer itself. And you can get access to this by looking at more samples, show more samples, and you can turn the security uh, queries on for that. Now let's look at alerts. Um, alerts is a kind of secu the security data that's available through the Microsoft Graph Security API. So this is the top one alerts query, which returns all the alerts, reason most alerts, from all the security providers running in this tenant. So we can see alerts from, say, Palo Alto Networks and even um, other security products. Now we can also look at a scenario where you can update an alert. And let's just put the tag as high value asset. So this would actually enable me to tag my alerts and uh, do further security management uh, scenarios around this. That's interesting. I was wondering why you would want to update a security alert, but that makes sense if you want to kind of organize them and, and mm -hmm. maybe f add additional metadata. Yeah, so for if I want to just assign this for investigations, so I can add my comments too. So just run this query. This is actually a patch of the alert. And this returns a success. Now let's do a get of this and see wh uh, whether it really ended up updating the alert. And there we see. 
that. This is the alert, and we can see that it's assigned to Contoso.com with comments investigate and you know, the details and the tag as well. So uh, this is a very powerful security management solution where an investigation scenario as well, where we can correlate alerts from different um, and, uh, categories. So for example, in this case, we are just uh, looking at high severity alerts. So this is the high severity and top five alerts from different providers. So you can just push all of these alerts for investigation at a higher priority because these are high severity alerts. So that enables automation of your security management across different security products. Now let's also look at other uh, scenarios where you can even get secure scores. So this enables you to look at the security posture of your organization. So this is the query for your secure score and we're getting the reason most five secure scores out here. So this is some kind of measurement of how secure you, your organization is mm -hmm. within certain categories. Yeah, so you get a current score and uh, a total max score of 657 in this case. And what kind of remediations are recommended for you to improve your score over a period of time? So that's, uh, that's what you can do with secure score entity. And uh, then we can also look at threat indicators. So threat indicators enables you to get all your um, custom threat intelligence fed into different kinds of security products. So if your enterprise has certain scenario, certain um, custom threat intelligence like specific IPs that need to be blocked or allowed or alerted on, or certain files uh, which are which needs to be alerted on, then you can pass all of that using this threat indicator ent entity and made available in security products like Azure Sentinel and uh, other Microsoft products too. So this is uh, a query for getting your indicators. And you can also... So that's before an alert has happened. Yeah. This is something saying, this could be bad. You might want to look into this. Yeah, and you can have alerts generated as an outcome of this okay. uh, threat in intelligence that's customized to your enterprise or organization. And uh, ISPs can actually build integrations with the uh, custom threat intelligence uh, indicators too, in fact, where uh, there are different kinds of threat intelligence platforms where ISPs have integrated with the threat, in uh, threat in indicators. So now that we looked at a few queries, let's look at an application that uh, uses the Microsoft Graph Security API. This application is an ASP.NET application using um, alerts and uh, secure score entities. And uh, you can take a look at how, what kind of a dashboard can be provided here. There are alerts by different providers mentioned out here. It's all called it's a single call to the Graph Security API that gets you this alert. And, and users can get to this demo from the docs page. Is a link to this demo? Uh huh. Yeah. Excellent. You can get so to, can go to the GitHub, um, GitHub repo from here, where you have the ASP.NET MVC sample and other samples too. Ah, excellent. Let's look at some of these alerts. So these are the queries that runs behind the background. So we can see that there is this is the top one query and uh, returns all different kinds of alerts that's out here. Let's take a look at one of these alerts. Basically out here, you can see that uh, you have a lot of uh, rich data in terms of the username and uh, the host information and um, the risk core and other information as well and risk level as well. Now, um, some of this data, like using the user principal name, we have been able to query um, uh, the user, uh, graphs, uh, Microsoft Graph user itself to get the manager information and the contact information and so on and so forth. So you can build rich applications integrating with uh, not only Microsoft Graph Security API, but with other Microsoft Graph APIs as well. And uh, in this case, if I just want to do a quick alert, alert update, I can just go ahead and update my alert and it changes the status, change the status for investigation purposes. So this is a management application. Now, similarly, we can also build kind of workflow solutions using Azure Logic Apps. So in this particular workflow, automatically polling happens for every 15 minutes to look at alerts. And uh, high severity alerts are pulled out here using the Microsoft Graph Security API connector for Logic Apps. And uh, this is the query for that. And all these high severity alerts are assigned automatically to an analyst from a SharePoint uh, list, which is using the SharePoint connector. And uh, we're not only doing that, we're also looking at investigation information. So uh, this is uh, where the Graph Security API's correlation aspect and richness comes into play. You look at the user information for each of the alerts, and we're looking at a different set of alerts 
with the same user information. So now what I end up getting is um, a list, a table with a list of uh, all alerts pertaining to this particular user. And that can really inform and expedite my investigations. And finally, Outlook Connector sends an email. So any developer who's familiar with how to use Logic Apps will be able to connect mm -hmm. this up and do all of the standard things. Yep, and this is an email example out here, which uh, which gives you a list of all the alerts pertaining to the same user across different security products. So that said, there are multiple ways to integrate with the Microsoft Graph Security API. So you can integrate via queries uh, that we looked at from Team Explorer. You can write code using SDKs available for Microsoft Graph. Um, then there are PowerShell modules and scripts. There are playbooks that you can design using Logic Apps that we just looked at. Uh, there are dashboards that you can build using Power BI Connector for Microsoft Graph Security API. And you can also include it in notebooks and uh, uh, Azure Notebooks and Jupyter Notebooks too. So we have also we also have a recognition program for contributions where we recognize uh, different types of samples contributed by the Microsoft Graph Security API community. So um, and that's out here in the Graph API solutions, and these are uh, links to all different samples available um, with the different integration options. So thank you very much. That was excellent. Uh, so where would developers go to find out more information about Microsoft Security? APIs. Yes, you can go to aka.ms graph security docs for documentation, and uh, you can go to aka.ms graph security API code for samples, and greatly look forward to your contributions. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today.